Many Hoosier families are struggling to find care facilities for their kids with autism. One local center is facing this challenge. News 10's Madison Zaleski is live in our studio tonight. She tells us how one that's working to raise more awareness for the complicated condition. Patrice Rondrell, earlier today I spoke with a local mom. Her son is on the autism spectrum, and right now she's looking for a new applied behavior analysis therapy center. But between waiting lists and limited resources, she says it's been a nightmare. Her hope, along with one local center, is to bring more awareness of the challenges families like hers face. Hannah Penry is the clinical director at the Harsha Autism Center. She says there are fewer providers in the local area to care for kids on the spectrum. If you go someplace like Indianapolis, there's less of that because there's a lot of BCBAs. But here in town, there's only like a handful of us that are um, certified, but we have lots of people that are like in the program and they're up and coming. ABA therapy providers require lots of special education training. They focus on each child's specific needs. Some kids with autism are more severe and need extra hands-on support. With fewer providers, it's harder to accept more kids. Penry says there might be less providers because some people are hesitant to enter the field. I think that sometimes people get worried about like going back for their masters if I how much time it's going to take and how many, like how much money it's going to take. To encourage more people to apply, the center increased their wages to $19 an hour. Before employees work with clients, Harsha also pays and requires providers to get extra training. To support Hoosiers living with autism, Harsha is partnering with many coalitions to spread awareness to state officials. There's been recent talk of Medicaid cutting rates and we want to try to avoid that happening. There is a really big need for autism services, and if that happens, um, there will be a cut in services, and the kids that are already on the wait list will have an even more difficult time getting services. Henry hopes more people will enter the field. She says taking care of a child with autism is very rewarding. When you see a kid that, like, makes such a huge gap, like, if you see a kid that, like, wasn't speaking when you first met them, and now they're talking, like, that is life-changing for, like, them and for their families. Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch will join the Harsh Autism Center tomorrow. There, they will further discuss opportunities for Hoosier families living with autism. Patrice Rondrell, back to you.